Hello, everybody. So today, John and I want to talk with you about family with an I. This is the new law that was passed in Colorado in 2023 and then started to become effective in 2024. So this year and just some of the things that we're seeing employers kind of mess up a little bit with it and how we can help you actually save a fair amount of money going down, you know, using this this uh, money that's been set aside as well as then just kind of help you with um, a variety of things with, around this law. So John, tell us a little bit about what you're experiencing with our clients and what you're seeing. Yeah, you know, it's been interesting, particularly with smaller clients that have unlimited PTO plans. Their argument to me has been like, oh, it just seems like a lot of bother to go through to sit, put somebody on the state's leave. We've got an unlimited PTO plan or we've got a very generous plan. Why not just put them on PTO? And my answer to them is, then you're wasting money. That's the first thing, right? Because you're paying for this through your payroll taxes as an employer and the employee is paying into it as well. So from my perspective is you're leaving money on the table and now you're paying their full salary rather than letting the state pay their portion of that leave. So I think that's issue number one. Yeah, for sure. And just as a reminder to everyone, like what this law is, is basically setting aside money to cover when people do need to go on leave. And so it's a great thing for employees. It's a great thing for employers. It's about, it's a, adds up to 1% of their salary, half by the employer, half by the employee. And this, this fund has been set up so you can draw down from it. And, um, and so that's, again, just a reminder around what the law is. So what are other things you're seeing? Yeah, so I think thing number two about not putting somebody on the leave is that you're creating liability in the future. And by that, I mean, let's say an employee has to go out for two weeks, get their gallbladder bladder removed or something like that, right? It's like a recovery from that surgery. So if you just say, eh, I'm just going to let them use their PTO for that, that means that if something happens six months later and they have a family member that they need to care for for 12 weeks, they still have that full 12 weeks available to them from the state. And then suddenly now you have created additional liability for yourself. You paid for their two week uh, leave originally at the full amount. And now we're gonna take another 12 weeks. So just from a practicality standpoint, you wanna start the clock running down on those 12 weeks of leave and, and utilize that benefit so that you're not going to run into it in the future. For sure. And and yes, I will say, because we've experienced this as well, like the administrative side of getting it all set up on the state portal is not necessarily fun, but it is so worth it to go through that, that effort to, because of those two reasons you just said, because by far, I mean, I'm so personally as an employer, I am so grateful that we have access to family for an employee of ours that needed to go on leave. It saved us a ton of money. It still made him totally whole. Like we're so lucky to have this as a benefit, but I know John, cause you went through the effort of putting, you know, going into the portal. It wasn't easy to get everything set up. Yeah, I mean, there are some hurdles that you have to go through and that the employee has to go through the state's website and do the work. But there is also a benefit in that, right? So there, when you utilize the state's system and have it, you're having them approve that leave, that means that they are then checking up with the employee's physician and making sure that the need for leave is legitimate. Right. So there's an added level of rigor uh, that an employee has to go through to make certain that this leave gets approved. And ultimately, I think as an employer, you get to put that process in somebody else's hands. So I think there's a benefit in that as well. Now, I will say many employers decide to get a private plan um, to to cover this need or this requirement from the state. And that's fine. It operates in the same way. So you would go to your carrier and they are then approving that leave. So this all the same concepts apply. Great. Yeah. Well, I think it's excellent. So and, you know, again, we've only been really in the state of administering this for about six, seven months. So there will be things that are going to get learned along the way. And we'll keep you guys updated on what we've discovered as we're working with clients and kind of living it ourselves. But that's kind of it in a nutshell for family. 
Yeah, we're we're getting uh, very quickly adept at helping our clients steer through and navigate this path. So we're always happy to help. Awesome. Thanks, John. Thank you.